Welcome back to another Bourbon Santa video. Today we're doing a bourbon battle. A bourbon battle where we level the playing field and see which whiskey is really better when they're all at the same proof point. So what we have before us is we have, these are all smoke wagon, the straight whiskey, the small batch, and the uncut unfiltered. Now I used an online alcohol dilution, dilution calculator. And I figured out how much water I need to add to each of these to bring them all down to 46.25% alcohol, which is what the straight is. Small batch is 50, and my uncut unfiltered is 57.3. But now they're all on a level playing field and I did these ahead of time so they'd have plenty of time to, you ever notice when you are right-handed and you try to swirl a whiskey left-handed? It doesn't work out very well. It doesn't, just the coordination is not there. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, not, not so great at that. So in a previous one of these videos in this series, um, someone asked in the comments what whiskey, or jeez, don't shoot a bunch of videos in one day. Which water I use to dilute, and this is it. So I figured I'd put it in the video. It's old limestone mixing water, um, for you know, it's specifically made for Kentucky bourbon limestone filtered water, and I get this off of Amazon. It's like eighteen dollars for two of these one liter bottles, and I got another one up there, and so, eh, you know. Is it better? I don't know. Could you probably use any old spring water? Probably. Could you use any old filtered water? Probably. Tap water? No. Don't use your tap water from home because that's gonna have all kinds of chlorine and other things in it from the municipal water system and probably not a great idea for mixing that with your bourbon. So let's jump into this and we're going to see what we think the differences are after leveling the playing field and getting them at the exact same proof point. So we're gonna start with the straight. It's exactly what you expect. Obviously, if you've had the straight whiskey before, it's good. It's actually very good. It's unfortunate how good it is, if you know what I mean. So this is the small batch that we've leveled the playing field on. We added four, just uh, over four mLs of water to this, which brought us, uh, we were using a 50 mL sample, which brought us down to the 46.25. This has more vanilla. This has slightly more funk. Still, more caramel, and just slightly darker, slightly more rich, very slight, very, very slight. But the palette is very vanilla, but also very thinned out. Hmm. I think I, if I'm comparing those two straight up, oh yeah. At the same proof point, the straight has more mid palate and more body to it. More notes. Okay. Let's scooch on to uncut unfiltered. This is back to being more vanilla. Darker. A little more oak. A little more caramel, a little bit. And this is just a little brighter, younger. Most definitely is the big difference. Hmm. 
The palette is a little acrid, a little sharp, a little bit, ooh. Interesting. I'm gonna have to go with Small Batch being the best of the three when they're all brought down at the same proof point. It still has, it has more 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 funk, more more jazz, more stuff going on. Even though the mid palette is slightly hollowed out, man, this is trickier than I thought it would be. Wow. They are all so similar. They're... <laughs> now, obviously, all of these are blended products. The straight is blended product. Small batch is a blended product. The uncut and filtered is a blended product. They are so similar when proofed down like this that there's very minute differences. I mean, I'm picking it. I'm making mountains out of molehills. They are so similar that they could almost be the same product with absolutely minor batch variations. That's weird. The nose on Uncut Unfiltered is still the best of the three. It still it has the most going on on the nose. But the palette comes across as a little bit sharper and unbalanced from the added water. Because I... I I know all three of these at full strength, and I love this bottle of Uncut Unfiltered. Absolutely love it. It's delicious. And I really like Small Batch, too. This one. This batch. Um, wow. These are closer than I even thought they would be. And I am curious what would happen if I gave these two more time to marry with that water, you know, I gave it about 10 minutes. Now, I wonder what would happen if I gave these an hour in like a sample bottle, if these would become almost, see, I get a little bit more funk on this one. This one just has a little bit of funky stuff going on compared to these two. This one's a slightly brighter version of this one, but not by a lot. But this one feels to have more structure. So I'm wondering if I should, in future episodes of this, pre-mix ahead of time, put them into sample bottles, and let them sit longer, maybe a few days, or even a week, with that extra water to really marinate, and, and then compare them. Because this is so close that I'm wondering if it would be even closer if I got these sitting. I have to give it to Uncut Unfiltered. That one has to be the winner. Because the nose on the Uncut is the best of all of them. The palette at this proof point isn't amazing. But, wow, that's really cool. I absolutely love doing this kind of thing where you can like really compare the whiskeys. If, if I had to compare these at the same proof point, the, 
this would just be like standard batch variation differences. There's very little difference between them quality wise. So that's interesting. I can't wait to do this with more stuff. I I'm, can't wait to, I'm gonna proof down my uh, Stag Junior batch 12 to Buffalo Trace proof and compare it. And that's probably gonna be the next one of these that I do will be the Stag Junior and Buffalo Trace on a level playing field and see how how much we're being jacked by Stag Junior. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. These are super fun. I really like doing these. This is this is probably the most interesting for me video type that I'm doing right now because it's a way to go through whiskeys that you've already experienced and tasted and know and maybe even love and see them in a new light. And so I love this. This is, this is fun for me. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. Until next time, I hope you have a great day.